Yesterday, someone uh, told me it's about to get very ugly, and it has indeed uh, gotten uh, pretty uh, ugly already. The battle is uh, going to be fierce. Uh, yesterday, just a few hours after Ruth Bader Ginsburg's uh, passing was announced, there was a statement from the Senate Majority uh, Leader uh, Mitch McConnell, a statement in which, in the same statement, he mourned the passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, but also finished by saying that Donald Trump's nominee would get a vote on the Senate floor. And, of course, the president has an announced that he wants to push forward very quickly with finding a nominee and going through the process of appointing uh, that uh, person. And the Senate, uh, controlled by the Republican, is adamant that they uh, will uh, do that, that they will go ahead uh, with the process. There's a battle, of course, because remember that back in 2016, the Republicans blocked Barack Obama from uh, filling the vacant seat left after the death of uh, J the conservative uh, Justice Antonin Scalia. And uh, some of those quotes back then from the Republicans are being brought back to light, especially the one by Lindsey Graham, who said, you can use my words against me. There should not be a vacant seat filled during a presidential year. And of course, the Democrats have been pouncing on that. Lindsey Graham walking back a little bit those comments, saying that the situation is not the same today. Back then, a president was Democrat. The Senate was controlled by the Republicans. This time around, he says the president and the Senate see I they're both Republican, and therefore, it's a different uh, story. But the Democrats are going to fight as much as they can. And the key will be uh, lying into a few uh, senators' hands, because uh, already uh, one, at least, Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, has uh, said, even before the passing of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, just a few days ago, uh, she said that she would not vote to fill a vacant seat before uh, the election of a new uh, president. The Democrats are hoping hoping that several other Republicans will be uh, joining her to try uh, to uh, block uh, that and to wait until there is an actual president uh, voted uh, for by the people, by the American uh, people, and that the American people get to decide. And only uh, then uh, will uh, there be a replacement for Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who had this statement uh, to her granddaughter as she uh, felt that those were her last days, she said that her wish was uh, that... Uh, her replacement would only be named once there was a new president elected.